Oh, I missed a big part of it. Oh, well, they missed I'm coming out. <laughs> All right, so welcome guys to Diamond Zone. All right, so here's what I want to make sure everybody knows because I've gotten requests from this. If I go to um, shrink that, if I go to my YouTube channel, because our theme this year, our, our theme coming in was everybody to come out on a video and, and to proclaim their goals, and we did that training. And I just want to make sure everybody knows, if you go to Giamalva, right, Global on YouTube, okay, great. If you go to Giamalva Global YouTube channel and you click videos, so Al, specifically, I know you missed uh, the last couple of calls. I need you to watch the coming out video. It's 38 minutes long, okay? I talk specifically how to go out there, go, go and, and record your video following a very simple format to tell people your goals for 2017 and how you're part of something called Project 1000, okay? And the, the, the first step to this was to give people direction to see if they follow it. And it's funny to see how many people followed exactly, they're teachable, what was told to them. And uh, I wanna see obviously a lot more videos start popping up. So I don't know if you guys are getting ready. Uh, I, I know uh, Mary and Dick had a little, uh, a little hiccup, but theirs is gonna go on today. But um, you know, all the diamonds and people above that ranking Okay, would love to see you, and uh, if you want to see some examples, um, you can see ours. Uh, Ramasio's team did, did one, and they followed a simple format. Okay, their project is a little bit different, but the point is, right, you're out there, and, and, and you're stating what your goals are going to be for 2018. All right, so enough of that. Giamalva Global, watch that. Everybody, if you want to rewatch it again. Um, now. I just got notification that we are doing the LinkedIn today. So everybody clap. Yay, yay, yay. Okay, so I'm excited. So Lisa made it happen. Okay, I, I think I'll keep her for another 31 years. What do you think? All right. All right, so where is Melanie at? Let me find her. Where are you, Melanie? There you are. Hi. Good morning. Oh, I'm so happy. Thank you for, for rallying. I know there was a mix up, but everybody is so excited about uh, uh, being able to hear, you know, what you have to share with us today. But guys, just so you know, um, this is our LinkedIn um, expert. And this, I think this is your third time, right, Melanie, on our on Diamond Zone? Uh, third or fourth. Yeah, third or fourth time. And uh, the, the response I get is really helping people. Um, get out there, get these leads, and um, obviously, as you know, everybody, the key to anything that you'll ever do is follow up. Okay, it, it's great to have you know the, the the bait on the hook, and you get someone to bite, right? But you got to reel them in. You got to reel them in. So uh, I'm going to turn this over. Do you need screen share? I will. Yes, please. All right. So let me give you co-host and guys. Uh, big Diamond Zone, welcome uh, to Melanie. Big, everybody clap. Yay. <laughs> Thank you. Happy New Year, New Year, everybody. And sorry for the mix up. I was uh, actually enjoying, I overextended my New Year, which is a blessing that we get to do as home-based entrepreneurs. And for those of you who are out there who are also doing this so that you can be parents, as I know that's why Lisa also got started, then, you know, I'm blessed to be able to take my kids to the Disney uh, walk yesterday and just enjoy that day so but I'm here we're absolutely here and I'm excited because today I have some things I wanted to cover with you that are related to um, a couple of different subjects number one is what I call the difference between ad uh, activity and productivity and the social media trap okay so if you want to Take little notes. We're going to be talking about the activity versus productivity and the social media trap for network marketers. Um, we're also going to talk about some tools that I use that I don't find to be too technologically complicated um, that will help you to spend less time in the social media trap and more time in productivity. Um, and finally, we're going to talk about um, because I've had a few inboxes 
from people who have had issues, which I didn't even know that they really did this, with something called LinkedIn jail. So we're gonna talk about how to avoid LinkedIn jail, which actually means that you are very, very active. It's the worst thing in the world, right? Um, and we're gonna talk about um, how, to, how to use LinkedIn with a free account. Says that's another thing that people come up with. You know, I, I thought I could do everything on the course with the free account. So you know what? You can, and I'm gonna show you how. You can stay out of LinkedIn jail and still get a little, um, lots of amazing connection, the highest quality connections. That's what we're on LinkedIn for in the first place. So just as a um, refresher for those of you who might be here for the first time, I'm gonna touch base with you a little bit about why LinkedIn versus other social media with a story, a story that goes something like this. Um, been using social media to generate free, which I love this word, I'm very spoiled, free high quality contacts using what we call attraction marketing since before it had a name, okay? So, and the way I see attraction marketing is a little different from what people teach today. So I'm going to kind of wade into that as well. Uh, so because I've been using social media all this time, I see the trends. And when I found that Facebook, the big one, the big net, right, wasn't actually producing as much as it used to. I thought to myself, well, this is, this is going to be an issue. And then there are other platforms that tried to come about. There was Periscope and there was, you know, people are on Twitter, but that's a lower quality lead we know. Um, and then things like Snapchat. You know what? There's people out there killing it on stuff like that. That's not my professional platform. And LinkedIn was over here as this platform that was underutilized on my part. So I just started to do the research. And what I found was just some real quick stats because a lot of times people, and let me just make this smaller so I can see my screen. A lot of times people, um, they, they get kind of stuck in uh, where they were. Like you can't, it's like they, they almost can't, uh, get out of working on Facebook because they've been doing, doing, doing. But if you've been doing, doing, doing on Facebook and it hasn't necessarily produced the results, <laughs> then I'm gonna invite you to take a look at LinkedIn and why we're there. Uh, because it is a business professionals platform, you're going to connect with higher quality people who are actually there to do business. Okay, that's, that's number one. And I'm not saying Facebook isn't still ripe with amazing people. Most of my real friends in the industry are there. Okay, that's, I'm not saying they're not there. However, LinkedIn is underutilized for you bringing amazing people from other industries into network marketing, right? And I'll say to find the absolute highest quality leaders from all over the world for world. Okay, so that's why we're on LinkedIn. It's not a, it's, it's no joke. <laughs> You've got the highest quality prospect and it's perfect for recruiting. It gets a little, dare I say, tacky sometimes on, on Facebook, right? There's, too, there's a lot of drama, there's a lot of things that go on that aren't really conducive to your getting work done. And the nice thing about LinkedIn is most of that stays out. It's just the kind of the etiquette of LinkedIn that we try to keep it more business focused and education versus um, the crazy stuff that happens on Facebook. So this is why we're on LinkedIn. If I could just show you one slide, it's the conversions per social platform. On LinkedIn, you can expect that more of your conversations will lead to presentations. I'm gonna say that again. On LinkedIn, you'll expect that more of your conversations will lead to presentations. And more presentations equals more money in your pocket. Okay, all you gotta do is get people to take a look. The right people will say yes, and the really right people will run with this, and you can duplicate on LinkedIn. Okay, so we're on LinkedIn to get more conversations. Okay, and this is the key. Uh, now, I did tell you, I was going to tell you, I tell you a little bit different. Uh, and as I say, LinkedIn is like the wild, wild west of social media. And there is gold in them, their hills for those who know how to prospect. Okay, so the word prospect is the key. So um, 
I do think of, um, nope, that's the wrong slide. I'm going to change this. Oop, I can't change it. Okay. Let me get rid of this slideshow and go to LinkedIn. I do think of LinkedIn uh, attraction marketing and LinkedIn a little different than, uh, than a lot of the experts that are out there. And that's okay. I mean, you have it, a lot of attraction marketers will say that you've, you should be hiding what you do behind layers so that people are more curious. And that's a very common thing that people say, but I tend to differ. And you can, you can, you can say I'm wrong. That's okay. However, I'm here because we've generated more than 3,000 sales using social media for free. <laughs> okay. And this is, in my, my standpoint is you are using attraction marketing, meaning being, um, being an excellent person that somebody would want to follow, but you don't have to hide what you do behind so many layers. I think that uh, today's prospect is very savvy. Um, and they kind of get annoyed if they have to go through several hoops to figure out who it is and what you do or what it is you do. So I think of attraction marketing is you are attracting the right people by who you are and what you're doing, the way that you're marketing, but you don't have to hide what you're doing under several layers of what we call capture pages. So I got that out of the way because that's also a question that's come up. So that, my story in a nutshell is Facebook was failing and LinkedIn is winning. <laughs> A few major differences with LinkedIn and Facebook is you can and should include links, well, yeah, in your posts on LinkedIn and they will not get you punished. <laughs> so on Facebook, if you were to post a link any, to anything, um, it would essentially not show it to your friends at all. You wouldn't even get it seen in the the feed. But the nice thing about LinkedIn, it, it does not punish you. So if you post a link to anything, whether it's education, to a post that you did on, on LinkedIn, uh, or even to go watch your movie, which I don't recommend you do all day long, but if you did, it will actually not get buried. And that's the beauty of LinkedIn is you can actually expect that if you post in the feed, there will be conversion. Okay, so if you actually post something like uh, that, and I hit post, boom, it doesn't get buried, <laughs> okay? And hopefully it'll show up, because sometimes LinkedIn does weird, weird things. Yes, it did. Perfect. And it worked. So if I post that, see, it, uh, it actually will, and it will not get buried. My point is if I went and did that on Facebook, Facebook would be like, ah, er, er, you're not paying for ads and we're burying this post. We, we will not be seen. So on LinkedIn, you can do that. Um, on LinkedIn, you can and should be more business focused. This is another major thing. As more of us <laughs> move from Facebook to LinkedIn, I tend to see a lot of the same content being posted between the two. And it, it kind of dilutes the power. And I don't want to be the, the one who's like the, you know, the, the, you know, the LinkedIn police and be like, you can't and shouldn't post things about yourself. Cause that's not true. But just consider that Facebook is like the party where you are bringing, um, more of your personal stuff to the conversation. LinkedIn is the is where you're going to the business networking meeting with you're dressed to the hit hilt with your business cards in hand, and you aren't necessarily bringing your uh, your I've heard it say you know you don't bring your 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 notebook of inspirational quotes and your what you ate for lunch and your cats and your dogs to the business meeting to say hey would you like to do business with me that's not how you do business right. You Wait, come, Melanie, yeah. Would, would Facebook be um, bring your own booze and LinkedIn is an yes. open bar? 
<laughs> I love it. Yes. All right. And by the way, I wanted to ask, am I getting the right sound? Do I have the right mic on today? Yeah, you sound, you sound perfect. Perfect. Thank you. I just realized because I, I hear the background, but I'm glad you guys do. Yeah, we kind of be like that. And I also equate it to, you know, if you think you're going to go to the block party with the bring your own booze and find your next leader, you might have to like really hunt around the drunk people. Or if you go to the business networking group, they're probably standing tall, head high with a martini in hand and only one, not drunk, ready and willing, looking for the deals. So you've got the best deal in the house. Go meet them, but make sure you have a martini, not a can of bud. Okay. All right. So. <laughs> so uh the so please and again what does this take it takes just a little bit of looking around perhaps at people who aren't in network marketing to see how they post and what they're posting and you'll see that a lot of people on linkedin will post more educational stuff around industry around um and for for the network marketers you could definitely i just want to give a couple ideas of what you will post and then we're going to talk about productivity versus activity what might you post on LinkedIn? Well, if what we're offering is an alternative to nine to five, alternative to not pension, right? No, you know what I'm talking about, like pensions disappearing, um, alternative to those types of things. Couldn't you find some awesome pieces on uh, the workforce and what's going on in terms of, or um, are you getting outsourced to robots? That kind of thing. Because if we are, how if you do have an opportunity for people to not experience the pain of what might happen, <laughs> um, then we want to show that, that one way to do it is to show the pain of what is happening. So you have an alternative to that or um, the fact that most people don't have any savings period, <laughs> regardless of age, right? Those kinds of things. That'd be good education. Why? Because it's like, Oh, well, yeah, that you might have people who are in your, your feed who are like, you know what? That's me. What are they doing? How are they making that much money? looks like they're having fun making that much money. What do I do? How do I get involved? So that's just one idea of what you can post. You can and should also post education about, uh, you know, technology itself because you, you have wearable tech. Um, if you've got excellent, uh, blog posts that you can actually write yourself, you can put them on LinkedIn. So this is kind of the activity part though. Trust me, this is just the, the baseline, what you're doing on LinkedIn. And you can actually write a blog post right here on LinkedIn. So if you've got some information on, uh, I know you have the, the anti-smog and I know you've got the better words for them, the EMF protector things for your phone. You've got those things. You can actually pull and you can write articles or pull articles from someplace else and repost them about the dangers of EMFs. Um, and then have a link to your world overview at the very end that says, you know, you want more information on how you can protect yourself and your family here. Um, this, the blog posts are very, very powerful. One other major activity. And, uh, if there's anybody on here who actually has a iPhone, who has the icon for posting videos i really if you could just chat that that would make me happy because uh i've been working with people with iphones and i can't figure out how to get them to do it but if you're on your regular android <laughs> i don't know what else to say it if you go to post the, on android you can only do it from your phone there is a little camera icon so you literally just click on the the camera record a video and uh, it will, that's weird, it will get, uh, there you go. You hit record and it's going to post it live. So it's like a live for LinkedIn. Okay, live for LinkedIn on your phone. <laughs> so if you're wondering how do I use video, it's right on your phone. You can also, LinkedIn loves YouTube. So you can post a YouTube video and it'll actually end up right in the feed and play when somebody hits play versus on Facebook where it buries it and it doesn't want it seen. You can post it here. And one other thing on the activity before we get to productivity. And I'm at 1020. We're good. Another thing that people seem it's a, it's a trip up as far as, um, 
tech goes. Just want to show you when you're editing your profile, it really looks good to have media here at the bottom of each section. So let me just show you how you do that. You click on the pencil. And come on down. You click on link. And you just take the YouTube video link and paste it in there. And it will add it. It will pull it in. So people have asked, how, am I add, how do you add the media to your sections? Just like that. You type it in there and put it in. And I know there's great videos on uh, YouTube for World. Uh, if, you're, if you've got an opportunity section, put an opportunity video in. If you've got a, a product section, put a product video in. Right there. It makes a big difference on your profile. And it is, uh, it's a matter of people viewing uh, those, those pieces of media without ever having to opt in. So that's the difference between me and some other people who think attraction marketing means bury it. What if you've got a really savvy, I don't know, you've got a lawyer that's connected to you. Do you think that they want to be like, go through seven different opt-ins to find out is what did you do? No, they'll probably be like, oh, this, these people look pretty cool. Let me, uh, let me, let me uh, see what they're doing. Go and look at your videos. Why wouldn't you put it out there? That's my say. Okay, so now, activity versus productivity. So I just talked about how we use LinkedIn some. I gave you some ideas for posts. I gave you some ideas for how to use video. Um, I'll give you a couple of productivity tools I use in a minute. Uh, but what is the difference between all of this activity on LinkedIn versus productivity? Being productive does not mean that I set up all of my social media to go and then I cross my fingers and hope that somebody is going to be in my inbox asking me or that I have a flood of notifications on my app that people have filled in the form and are going through the presentation. That's not very likely. And that's coming from somebody that has a, a, a you know, a, a social media following, like it's already built this up. It's not very likely that you're just going to have people who are going to come through the floodgates uh, to you to, uh, okay, I did have somebody chat. The chat is, where's the camera? Uh, the, fact, the fact is most of your actual activity on LinkedIn is going to come from your inbox and your messaging. So having a couple conversations uh, last couple of weeks before the new year, uh, we had you know, some conversations about what it means to go pro and to take your business from, okay, now I'm making connections. I've got some conversations started. I've got a whole inbox full of conversations and I don't know who to follow up with, etc. We talk, we're talking about going pro it means first of all, you've got to have those conversations and ask people if they're open so that they can get to the point of looking at the video. Um, but it also means taking a good inventory of the people who are in the pipeline because what we tend to want to do is constantly just make new connections, new connections, new connections, new connections, new connections, new connections, and hope that the people are going to step forward and say, it's me, I'm the one you've been looking for, I'm ready. When the fact is it's up to us, it's now January 3rd. It's up to us to say, be the leader, right? So the leader knows the way, shows, goes the way, and shows the way. Right? So to be the leader means, hey, it's January 3rd. You are, you know, considering taking, uh, you know, a serious look at this opportunity. It's time for us to get your questions answered. Let's go. It's essentially you stepping forward and saying, you were looking. Are you still looking? <laughs> I'm looking for outgoing, motivated people. Is that you? So you're having the posture to go back and follow up. And I do think that this, that the, the reason that people don't follow up isn't just that they're lazy. I don't want to ever, ever think that any of us are lazy because you're here. You're not lazy. 
It is literally that you, the posture of having the leadership is why people will follow up. I'm sure Jeff would agree that leaders follow up because they know that they have the best path for those people to follow. Uh, I also think that uh, it's a matter of um, if, if somebody got out of their way to show you this amazing opportunity and you're excited about it and you know it can change your life, that is the, the attitude that you want to have as you look at these people who are in your inbox. It's not like, oh, no, I hope that they'll join me. It's I've got something fantastic. And they're going, they, they want in. They just don't know it yet. <laughs> they really want in. So what that looks like for you is without opening my inbox, because, it, you know, there's, there's lots of them in there. If you, without, what that looks like for you is all of the people who you've already contacted, that means they're in your network, right? They should be endorsed and you should have sent them a welcome message and ask them, Something simple like, what are you here? What are you looking for on LinkedIn? You can ask them a simple question. All your contacts that you made, what are you looking for on LinkedIn? And they can, the ones that answer back, you now have a conversation. You can let them know, this is what I do. I work with World Global. We're a world leader in wearable technology. And I am expanding my business. And if, okay, I'm expanding my business. Would you know anybody who is looking for an outstanding opportunity or looking for a way to make money outside of what they're currently doing? You can actually ask it in a referral fashion because you're on LinkedIn. And if you've got Eric Worre's GoPro, which I normally have right at my fingertips, you know that is the indirect approach. It's a question. You are still asking every single person who you contact, who responds, if they are open or, or if they know somebody who is, okay, you tell them who you are, a woman, um, an, expansion, an international expansion leader with World Global, uh, a world leader in wearable technology, and we're looking for people who are looking for a way to make life-changing income. I love that phrase, life-changing income. You can steal it from me. Uh, do you... Do you, would that be you or somebody that you know? You just simply ask the question. That's the difference between activity and productivity. See, we can get really excited about posting and doing LinkedIn right, doing LinkedIn marketing right. But the money is going to be, number one, in the people who say yes, they want to take a look at the presentation, and number two, it's this thing. This is where your money is. Okay, your money <laughs> is in the call, it's in the phone, it is in the phone with uh, your leader who can do the Q&A with your prospect who's already watched your video, but this is where the money is. And I just want you to maybe not get so excited about the marketing aspect of LinkedIn and get more excited about the amazing people who are in your inbox, who you've got to get through a process to to you know, get the information so that they can get to the Q&A and get enrolled. That is your productivity <laughs> versus your activity. And so what that also looks like is if you haven't already, I'm going to say get really familiar with your CRM, your, um, your world global uh, back office where the people who have filled out your form are in. <laughs> because... Those people are the hottest of the hot. Those people are the ones that you want to be talking to on that. You can be on their LinkedIn feed, liking stuff, commenting. Those people are the low hanging fruit and they're ready to be enrolled now. <laughs> okay. So do get really, this is what's this part of going pro is going and making sure that you understand how to use your CRM uh, so that, See your, your contact, your follow-up, right? Your follow-up back office, where everybody is. Make sure that you know how to use that because if you, once you've got somebody from LinkedIn who has said yes, who has watched the video, you're following up with them until they say no or they, they go away, right? That is perfect. And again, it is a matter of being a leader and showing the way. These people have taken a look. The, 
the big hurrah, the big parties, they're over. The real life is about to, to hit them like a ton of bricks. Uh, <laughs> you know, the, they, have, they don't have a new way to pay for the new bills that they may have accumulated. And you have that. Not only do you have a solution for their families that they all want, but you have the you have the the solution that they require for their upcoming bills. So just know who you are and what you're doing. You are like a, a beacon of light in these people's inboxes. And I did want to just make sure that you understand the difference between activity and productivity because if you think that just being on LinkedIn and having the right profile and doing the right kind of sexy posts and having everything just right is the key, the key is not that. That may be what people train you on or you see when people teach on social media, how to use you know, social media and have a certain formula, et cetera. But the real formula is how many conversations you have in your inbox on a daily basis, at least five days a week. Would you agree, Jeff? Do you have a number that you, you call like the minimum productivity for people? You're, you're muted still. Lisa's chiming in right now. Not here in Lisa. Where are you, Lisa? Happy birthday, belated. Is she chatting? Nope. What, Lisa? She, she, I, I, I mean, I don't think we can have Lisa do LinkedIn. She can't even unmute herself. We have to take her off LinkedIn. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I see her. She's doing very well, by the way. I follow. You want me to come help you, my sweet? Oh, okay. Relax. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Hang on. I got to find you now. Um, where are you? Oh, there you are. There you go. Thank you. Okay. Tell me, I, I mean, I, I've been uh, probably for the last three weeks extremely strict. I'm making, and tell me this activity if you feel like it's got a nice flow. Mm -hmm. 50 invites a day. I'll just pick groups of people, you know, maybe a company, maybe people looking for opportunities, you know, whatever. So I, I make my 50 invites. Then when people accept, I always say my standard, a copy, paste, copy, paste. Thanks for the connection. Um, leader expansion internationally looking for people that are looking for an outstanding opportunity if I sent you a two-minute video would you watch it happy new year something like that and then the people that respond back I look for five a day that's my numbers coming back from 50 out five a day they send me the video does that sound right yeah, you know, it sounds beautiful. Um, and because you guys are leaders of leaders, it's your approach is more direct. But I would say, Lisa, that if you if you put one more like sandwich met message, so between the accept and the expansion leader message, just one more. Okay. Thanks for connecting. What are you here for, on LinkedIn for? Just, oh, ask I love that. That. just ask them what and it, it doesn't mean that you have to like get into some long conversation regarding I mean, your next one is great this is what i'm here for i gotcha so that kiss, way, them. So kiss them before you sleep with them lisa yeah kiss them first i mean and as i said you know getting five back from 50 that's not bad but what if you now have 20 conversations started and you end up with 10 who want to see the video or what if you have 30 conversations started and okay. So now with, with our team doing that, doing that dance, what are you looking for on LinkedIn? And then the person tells you, and then you say, Hey, if I sent you the two minute video, would you, would you watch it? Person says, yes. At that point I say, fantastic. I send my two minute video and I say, let's set a time to connect. Yep. And I, I would say once you watch the video, we can get your questions answered. Just a little bit slightly different posture. Okay, once you watch the video, we can get your, get your questions, questions answered. So in other words, I'm not let so, connect is open-ended. Yeah, it's, it's open-ended and it's almost like uh, you're, you're wanting them to connect with you versus they've got to do this thing first before you even get on the phone. Right? Gotcha. 
Yeah. Okay. And then as far as everybody else on the call, uh, go, I loved what you did one, one, on one of your trainings where you basically set up um, the next step of a three-way call where you put your, your upline and that person and you schedule. Yeah. Just like that. On a message. Uh-huh. So, I mean, it's as easy as, uh, so once somebody who had, who had, okay. So, so you, so then you say, once you watch the video, I can, I'll set up a time for you to get your questions answered. You know, or once you, once you watch the video, so you're giving them instruction. This is leadership. You're leading them from the get go. Once you watch the videos, then we'll get your questions answered. So then essentially you just open a message with your support and whoever else you want to, um, okay. So that let's say Doris is your, your prospect, right? Then you would say, hi Doris. Uh, now that you've, now that you've done, so now I've got a notification on my phone that they did watch it, right? So bing, I go to work. I go to work during my set time though. Don't, don't chase your business like it's, you know, crazy. If you're middle of, in the middle of baking some bacon, like don't burn your bacon. But when you go back to your computer, send the message that says, great, I see that you have watched the video. I'm setting up a time now for you to get your questions answered. Lisa, this is Doris. She's uh, a nurse at the local hospital and she's watched the world video, uh, has some questions. And then Lisa would essentially pick up the conversation, say, excellent, I'm free at two and one, or one and two, which works for you. And Lisa picks up the conversation. Now, at that point, I always say, you know, Doris should be calling the prospect, well, calling Lisa and calling the prospect at the same time and listening zipping their lips. I mean, do we, do we need to do three way call protocol here? We can talk yeah, about I mean, it. <laughs> are, we, are, yeah, we all really ver are we all really well versed? You make the introduction, you edify Lisa and you zip your lips, right? And you let Lisa talk. Um, but I like that little insert of you with everybody on the call. Everyone has an upline plugs yes. in, you know, diamond president team developer, someone that you're working closely with. And this is a good thing to do right here to get questions answered. It gets that edification right out of the way. And now Doris knows that she's not working alone just with me. And what I tell people is they are, people do join a company. They get excited. They, they think they're joining a company and they are, but they're also joining because they believe that they will have the support that they require in order to be successful. And when you, when you're doing the three-way anything, whether it's a call or a message or anything, they now know that they have multiple layers of support. They're not going to go check out your up your upline, the support person, and see who they are. And hopefully their profile is done beautifully and they're positioned as somebody who really can help them to be successful, right? So they're doing that three-way, they're now going to start to like look around and see who they'd be working with. This is beautiful. <laughs> the three-way chat feature on LinkedIn can make you a lot of money if you, when you use it. Uh, and I always tell people, you know what? In, in, the best way for you to learn what to be saying to prospects so that you can then someday soon, real soon, be the upline that does the three ways, is to listen to leaders speak and take notes and be ready to be an amazing parrot when it's your turn to be that leader. So I always, you listen and learn so that you can actually do what they've done. All right. So anything else on that point, Lisa, before we? No, that's great. Thank you. Yeah, you're awesome. Hey, hey uh, Melly, will you also check out some of the chats and, and see yeah. if there's, okay. Sure. Thank Chat you. says, pop up. Come on, Pat, pop up. It's like a delay. Mm, I have it. And it's. Well, Michael wrote a long one. Hang on, Michael. It's not even coming down for me. Crazy stuff. Come on. Come on, Link. You want to read it, Jeff? Yeah, okay. Um, oh, I got it. Cool. Finally came up. You got it? Okay. All right. So, is it a good idea to work with others? <clears throat> My goodness, there's a lot. Okay.
just the address, the ones you, you know. Yeah, or maybe at the end, I, I think. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so we'll, we'll do that. Um, is it great, good, but I'll just say, is it a good idea to work with Edison World? You know what, it is, because if, um, if you've got sideline that are excellent, like it's always good to make good relationships, because what if you've got um, a personal trainer who's a prospect, but you don't really have that background? What a beautiful thing to have a friend in the world who you know is successful. You can set up those things. And you happen to be a nurse, right? So then if they get a nurse prospect, who do they lean on? They lean on you. It's a give and take. It's a beautiful thing. Um, a chit-chat link for link doc for LinkedIn. That's actually in the course, and it's actually being expanded. Okay. LinkedIn profile. Whoa. Okay, big one. All right, so. All right, so let's uh, let's just shift gears just a little bit, and we're going to talk about um, how to make it look like you have a whole lot more activity with um, less actual time. Okay, so I've touched on this before, and this is in the course as well. But there's this app; it's called Buffer, and you can get it free and only use it for LinkedIn. Okay. Like if you just have a free account, you just have one social media um, <clears throat> account, use it for, and you can just, if you, know, you see, I've got a bunch of this, but all you would need is LinkedIn on there, right? And it's free if all you have is LinkedIn. <clears throat> and yes, there's a little bit of technology set up here, but the nice thing is on LinkedIn, you really don't need to post that often. It's not like you have an algorithm like on Facebook, where if you stop posting, nobody sees you ever. It doesn't work like that. The nice thing about LinkedIn is you really only have to post maybe once or twice a day. <laughs> and the, uh, yeah. and the gourd, so that's, but you actually don't even have to think about it once or twice a day. What if on a Saturday afternoon for a half hour, you came up with six posts and you posted them to go out all this week, right? At five o'clock or at, three o'clock, right? Or at seven or at breakfast, whatever. So typically on LinkedIn, people are checking at breakfast, lunch, and, and after dinner. Because these are professionals, they were probably working, <laughs> okay? Um, so post once a day and you can set it up to go out on both buffer once a day. And then it's done. You're not even on LinkedIn, but it looks like you are. You're on LinkedIn to go into your inbox. And that's it. You're going back to your inbox. But you will get notifications <clears throat> whenever somebody actually likes something that you post or anything that you post at all. Whether you post just some words. Like here's, here's a perfect attraction marketing post. Just saying. <laughs> um, I know, people, I know most are desperately looking for a few days off. Personally, I jump out of bed excited to do what I do. Now, what the heck does she do? Well, I help people on LinkedIn. But you are also really excited to do what you do. Okay, so that, I didn't say what I'm doing. I didn't sell what I'm doing. All I said is, is it's true. I'm like, I'm up at like six, like excited. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm always up. <laughs> Why? Because I love it. I really love working with, with y'all. So, um, that's, that's so essentially, but that's posted. I might've put it in buffer though, and nobody would know it was from buffer. That's another thing I love about LinkedIn on other social media. Like if I post on Facebook and I use buffer, it says buffer. So it's kind of like, uh, she, she scheduled that post. She's not really here. And that scene is like somehow, uh, I don't know. Like I don't value my time enough to not be on Facebook all the time, but you know what I'm saying? People are like, eh, she's using the scheduler. She's not really here. On LinkedIn, nobody knows. It doesn't say posted with buffer. That's awesome, <laughs> okay? So you can schedule them out and you don't even have to be here, but then all of the people <clears throat> who like or comment or anything, then you're in their inbox. You're talking to them. You're saying, hey, awesome, thanks for liking my post. What are you here on LinkedIn for? And they tell you what they're here on LinkedIn for. You say, great, I'm here. I'm an international expansion leader with World Global. With World Global, I'm looking for people who are looking for uh, oh, a way to dramatically increase their income in the new year. Uh, if that's you or somebody that you know, uh, let's let's connect, right? Or let's talk. 
or would you talk or would you watch the video? You could go right to the video, but you'd let people know what you're doing. All of these likes, every one of them is now a new prospect. As, as far as I'm concerned, they are all, this is activity. The activity is not the, ooh, I got 900 people saw my post. Who cares who saw your post? Though that would be a lot more than you get on Facebook. A lot more new, um, understand, uh, not news, notification. But also, these are all prospects. And they're real business prospects. Not on LinkedIn where somebody likes it and then, like, they're not, I don't know. <laughs> You're not like, chasing them. You don't have to. It's weird. Okay, so okay, Melanie, speak yes. to this because I, I, on that point, now you've got a whole new little batch of people you could do your little dance with. But because we have a lot of world people jumping on LinkedIn, yeah, you don't need to dance with world people. They're all liking your stuff. Don't dance with world people. Let's speak to that to this group. Okay. The, okay. It, so in other words, I post okay. something, and every like is from a world distributor. Well, first of all, that's kind of like um, what I learned a long, long time ago is chatting to people in my company is not work. Talking to people in my company is not productivity. And back in the day, it really was phone calls. You know, we'd hop on a call and we'd be excited and we'd talk about whatever we talked about for a half hour. And it felt really good because we're both excited about something, but there was no money making going on. So I literally just stole a half hour from my family. Okay. So that's why I, when I, be re, when I realized that was going on, I was like, you know what? No, if I'm going to talk to somebody who's in my company, it's for a purpose. It's a reason it's on and off the phone. And because my, my main productivity is actually prospecting. So yeah. same thing with this, you know, it's kind of like if you're liking and, and commenting on only world people's pros, uh, posts, you're not doing any work on LinkedIn at all. You're literally just back and forth having a conversation. You'd be far better off. And I always just go to Eric Worre because it's easy. We all know who he is. You'd be far better off going and liking, commenting, and making conversations with the people who are liking, commenting, and making conversations on Eric's stuff. So okay. the point is, like and comment with on a the, post with people that you don't know. Yes! In our in world. We what need a really, magical thing. Yeah. All right, so we've got 42 people who liked Eric's, Eric's Not uh, that we don't care, but we want you guys to get more people outside of, uh, uh, right. Look at them all. 40, this is his newest one. Some of these have like 200. They go find out who the heck this person is. Go like and comment on something he's done. <laughs> right? Who is this guy? Christian Sedlak. I don't know. Are we open in Germany? Yes. <laughs> okay. You can go to his activity. <laughs> oh, he liked and commented on that. That's all I'm seeing. Okay. Well, it could get better than that. My point is it could get better. Christian could have stuff that I think is, oh, look, here we go. He posted about Forbes. Do you see somebody who knows how to do use LinkedIn? He's using Forbes or entrepreneur as an education piece. Okay. Smart guy. I'm going to like it. I can make a comment after I read it or skim it and agree. That is working on LinkedIn. Okay. If Christian then thinks if we're, if, and if we're really well, a good fit, I should go over there and hit connect for, with Christian and send him the message. Okay. That's actually working on LinkedIn. So, and oh, so that actually segues perfectly for the last piece that I wanted to cover today, which is um, using LinkedIn for free. So I just gave you the major key. First of all, um, LinkedIn jail will happen if you're just like, let's say, and I don't, I'm going to use a, a weird company because I don't want to use a uh, I don't know. I'm just going to use world. That way I can't get in trouble. <laughs> Let's say I wasn't in world, right? And, uh, I did a search for world global and I found people and there's 38,000 of them and I wasn't connected to them. <laughs> so let's, let's scroll down and you can do this on your phone, by the way, 
once you're warmed up, LinkedIn doesn't care how much you do this, but when you're brand new and you're just starting, you can't just hit connect, 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 connect. It'll throw you in jail. Oh, look, I'm connected to all of them. <laughs> Let's go to page 10. <laughs> okay, there we go. And all I did was just sit here and go connect, 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 and went down the line. Connect, 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 connect. Then it, LinkedIn would go, and if any one of these people was like, ah, they're with another company. They want to prospect me, scammer, spammer, whatever the heck they want to think because there's jerks in the world. All they have to do is hit this little button that says this isn't for me or I don't want to connect. You get a handful of those and you go to jail. Stupid. It's ugly, but it's true. So don't just be willy-nilly hit connect, 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 first of all. Make sure that you actually send a message when you go to connect. I don't know who this lady is, but I will add a note. You must add a personalized note every time. And you can literally just copy paste this. And I have this in a, a document. You just copy that, you use it over and over again. Just having something that is not the generic invitation message will, will make it less likely that you will end up with the people hitting the button that says they don't want to connect with you, okay? That's one thing. Um, so be careful when you first get started. Once you're warmed up, as I said, I can sit there in a, in, if I'm sitting in a waiting for the doctor or whatever, not, if, wherever I am, if I'm sitting in a waiting room of any kind or driving, my, I'm not driving, my husband's driving, I'll just plug in something and hit connect, connect, connect. At this point, I could do it because it knows how many people I typically hit that button for. I'm not going to get in trouble. But when you're brand new, you do have to be careful. But I gave you some, let me give you the, the keys to LinkedIn free for the best quality prospects that are most likely to connect. Cool. I mean, that's the way. And I'm not going to use Eric again because you already got that one. Let's use Tony. So the people who are most likely to actually connect with you are those who are absolutely active on LinkedIn. Goes, to, goes without saying. So you're not going to just get a whole bunch of people that you hit connect with that never even see it. If you go here, so here, come on. This is what, this is the kind of things that you should be posting, financial security in uncertain times. That's the kind of thing. Like you could share this. You could share this thought leader's post on LinkedIn and that is a worthwhile share, right? And look, oh my gosh, she's got that, you know, 1900 on this one it's from last year. Look at all these comments, 114 comments. Now, these may not all be your perfect prospect, but you got 114 people that are commenting. They are active. So you can go fishing like this for the right people to connect with that are actually more likely to accept your uh, request. And the, their, you know, I, I always call, I call it PMA. You want people with positive mental out, um, attitude, PMA, positive mental attitude, who are socially outgoing. You don't want a reluctant socializer, as one of my friends calls them. <laughs> you want somebody who's like out there and wanting to use, because the person who uses LinkedIn already is more likely to use LinkedIn to expand their world business when they get started with you, right? So all of these people are potential great prospects for you, okay? Boom. That's one way. Another that is underutilized is uh, groups. I just typed in you know, a word that you know would find people with you know hopefully positive mental attitude, right? And go to groups. Oh, we're at 10 o'clock. Um, and this one has 11,000 members. But 11,000 people probably aren't all active. But once you grow, join this group, now you're kind of connected to them also in the LinkedIn search, just so you know. But hey, some of them are. And the people who are active and posting, 
those are also people who are very likely to actually connect with you, right? And have a conversation. So that's some free ways that you can use LinkedIn without having to upgrade and still get your, uh, and get the, the connections that you're looking for. All right, so I, okay, it is 11 o'clock. I don't, I, I see okay. the time. You wanna address, you wanna address two, two, yes. two chats, just a very brief. Yes, do you have them or do you, do you know which ones or? Oh, oh, I just thought you would go through them and just okay, I'm opening it again. It's just being funny. There it goes. Okay, open. It did. It opened. Okay. You address them, whatever you want to address. Okay. How about Michael's? That's a good one. If somebody's on LinkedIn, it says, yeah. Melanie, I have almost 3,000 followers, but mostly connected to my professional background and position myself as an employee. <clears throat> as an employee. I decided to open up another profile just to do business. <clears throat> the issue is I'm seeing now that is the old profile a little more. In other words, they shouldn't have opened up an old profile, correct? Okay, so the, the thing is, I mean, just, I can answer this really quickly. You can only search through the connection, like first, second, third connection. So if I do a search for, um, I'm going to get a whole lot more people results because I have so many connections. If I have five connections on LinkedIn, I'm really only going to see five who those five people are connected to. And those five people are connected to, you're only going to see three levels of who you're connected to is connection. So Michael right now has a new profile and he's not seeing any search results. It's because he doesn't have the connections. So you have to bulk, you have to increase your connections first, first or, or nothing happens. Um, you could have also, taken and you shouldn't have more than one LinkedIn profile. They could um, negate your second one, your new one. They, they don't allow it. It's not like Facebook where you can. Um, you could have just trans transformed that from employee to a uh, business owner, not necessarily prospect all your old connections, but heck they'd see it. Not a bad idea, right? Yeah. Because um, then they would see a new position. Correct. And it would get, and you can notify, it can notify your entire, uh, your entire database in one change of a profile. Awesome. Okay. Um, and then the, uh, Tammy's, uh, what does profile out of your network have limit visibility on LinkedIn? Yeah, it's the same thing. It means okay. that you don't have enough connections yet. You need Got more. It. Connections. Okay. All right. Well, I want to thank you, Melanie. It, I mean, thank you for taking your time. And um, if people want more in-depth stuff, what do they do with you? They're going to go to melaniemilitix.com slash social world. Got it. Okay, so I've got it up on the screen. I'll copy it and put it in the chat. Okay. But essentially, they're going to get a recording of a more of a, a basic uh a basic outline of how to use LinkedIn. Okay. And they can see how to get their profile makeover done so that they can position themselves for the new year and uh, really blow this up. Because as I say, for things to change, you got to change. So why not make a change? That's right. To go, pro, go pro on LinkedIn. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you. And uh, we're scheduled every four weeks, right, with you? You got it. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Happy New Year. Thank you so much. And everybody remember two things as I close out today at 12 and 6, diamondzone.world, two business opportunity presentations, 12 and 6 Pacific time. And uh, be on Diamond Zone tomorrow. Lisa Giamava uh, will be at the helm uh, talking so, about some very exciting stuff for the new year. So once again, Melanie, thank you so much, everybody. Uh, we are you. out of Diamond Zone. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everybody. Great, great job. Do you, want to take a picture? Do you want to take a picture of everybody clapping? Yeah, please. That's how it's going to Okay. Do. Jeff, okay, make wait. the picture thingy. Uh, she has to uh, share screen. Hang on. Oh, I think I – wait, wait. I, I did something wrong. Hang on, hang on. How do I do it? That's weird, huh? I just did the oh, same thing. Share, I thought stop, if I could stop sharing, share. it would show everybody. Wait, but now I have you. Hang on. Oh, I think I got it. I got to click okay, this good. gallery. I got it. I got right, everybody. Good. So just everybody see. All right, guys. Awesome. Yay. Love y'all. Thank, Thank you very much. You.